Merry Christmas and welcome again to Edify. I was thinking the other day about how much my view of Christmas has changed over the years. See, I grew up in a tradition that said, if something's not authorized in Scripture, then we don't do it. <laughs> and we said in the New Testament, no one celebrated the birth of Christ, so we don't celebrate it either, which is not exactly true, of course. My understanding grew. And I came to understand that passages like Romans 14 teach that if you want to celebrate a special day unto the Lord, it's perfectly fine to do so. <laughs> we all have those moments, don't we, as Christians when we grow, or at least we should. I'm reminded of the parable in Luke chapter 5 where Jesus talks about not pouring new wine into old wineskins. And of course, the winemakers knew that. The reason that you don't is if you pour new wine into old wineskin when the fermentation process happens, that old wineskin is brittle. It won't stretch. It won't grow. And so it will just burst. And Jesus compares that to having pliable hearts. And he's speaking directly to the teachers of the law, to the Pharisees, who had some wrong notions about the Sabbath and about Messiah. And he wasn't saying that the law was bad. He was saying, listen, you need to rethink, re-examine your interpretations of things like the Sabbath, and especially when it comes to the Messiah. How about us? <laughs> Can God pour new wine into us? Or are we like old wineskins that are brittle and won't take in new truth? You see, God calls for us to continually be open to any truth that we learn in his word. And as I think about this holiday season and the way that my heart has changed toward it, I can't help but think that God has many more things to teach me in the coming years if I'm allowed to live that long. <laughs> Would you pray with me? Father, we thank you for teaching us, for helping us grow. And Father, we ask that our hearts be like that, uh, that new wineskin that's able to stretch and able to grow. And Father, help us to always be open to where you might lead us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless you today.